Time for a bit of nostalgia now. The nightclub where the new romantic movement was born is reopening its doors tonight. The Blitz Club in London's Covent Garden boasted Steve Strange of Visage on the door and Boy George as a cloakroom attendant. Some of the most famous bands of the 80s played and partied there. There's a star. on a classic I don't even need to go through all the names Bowie a culture club Visage Spandau Ballet Roxy Music and Ultravox Rusty Egan DJ'd at the Blitz Club and is the co-founder of the band Visage as well morning Rusty good morning so the Blitz is coming back together is it well actually you just played this an excerpt from Vienna it's uh, 30 years today since Vienna was released ooh now if we'd known that we could have done a whole piece on that let alone the Blitz reopening <laughs> and Ultravox have reformed have they? And they had a tour called Return to Eden. Yeah. And their fan club, EV, Electronic Voice, they put together a book and asked me if I'd write the foreword for it. Go on. And then they said, oh, we really want to um, uh, launch the book on January the 15th. Can you find us a venue? And I said, well, you've got to do it at the Blitz Club, the original site in Great yeah. Queen Street, Covent Garden. Yeah. And then it was like, well, can you DJ? And I said, oh, my God, I haven't DJed at a Blitz Club for years. And then all the parts sort of fell in together. We ended up with um, Martin Kemp's son's band playing on the same stage as his father 30 years later, me DJing and celebrating the release of Vienna. Fantastic. I know, that's great. So the building itself obviously is still there. It's just the club night is... The, it's the a table dancing club now. Right. We're very happy about that. Yeah. It could have gone into some terrible nightclub, but at least now it's a nightclub of ill repute. Yeah, uh, OK. I, I would have thought the dress code's slightly different, though. <laughs> yes, yes, they'd be wearing more clothes. Yeah, what was it like, the dress code, when you were DJing there? Originally? Oh, unbelievable, unbelievable. I, I, I mean, obviously, you can log on to um, theblitzclub.com and you can see photographs of everybody dressed up. And famously, was it Steve Strange who stood at the door and sort of pointed at people and let them in, depending on what they were wearing? Yes and yes and no. Or I mean, is that just you myth? can understand um, all those years ago, Covent Garden was a sort of desert. It wasn't. Um, it wasn't a, a shopping, busy, thriving community. It was a former um, uh, fruit and veg market, and everything was empty. All the shops were empty, so you just got uh, office people come from Holborn, slightly inebriated, trying to get into the club. And can you look after my briefcase? <laughs> <laughs> and there was uh, a collection of people that would be arriving soon, uh, all dressed up to the nines to enjoy their night out. Is this is this the era of the new new romantics then, Rusty? New, do you think? New romantic. Well, you mean now? Yeah. Actually, actually, um, everybody's come back. O Orchestral maneuvers in the dark have just toured. Um, Heaven Seventeen have toured. Human League has got a new album out. Mm. I mean, the, the 80s, for some reason, has come back. I was a, a DJ not only in the Blitz Club, Club for Heroes, and then what is now called Coco, we called the Camden Palace and had Frankie Goes to Hollywood, uh, Prince. I mean, everybody, really, that whole era was wrapped around Steve Strange and Rusty Egan's club nights, really. Rusty, you'll have brought a smile to the faces of many people this morning. Thank you very much. OK. Good luck with it. I hope it goes well tonight. Yeah, well, uh, I can't believe, like I said, Martin Kemp's son's band on the same stage, and I'm 30 years older as well. Yeah, I'm afraid that happens uh, to us all. <laughs> Rusty, yeah. I, still, you, I bet you still look as good, though. Oh, you're too kind. Thank you, Rusty. <laughs> Rusty Egan. He's going to be at the Blitz Club tonight. 30 years since...